I mean, did you see Dan's Facebook page? Oh my it was God. so oh my God. Oh my God. Why is everyone so quiet? This is your father's work at its greatest. I have seen the fear and misery of your ears, Annie. I've heard their nightly prayers crying out one request to see the busyness of their lives. So I have come to rescue them from their hectic lives to show them that there's only one true God and that there is a whole world of joy they are missing out on. But I am the messenger. I am sending you to give your peers strength and courage to turn away from their obsessions and back to you. But I'm weak and small, even compared to most of the freshmen. I. So go. I am the messenger. Oh my gosh, look what I got on this paper. Oh! My social life is gonna go down with that or my parents are gonna kill me. And all this homework you've got here. I know, we, we haven't got any time for this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this stupid frog is good for us. So we're here, you're pretty smart, huh? Okay, so we have a biology lab, and obviously we don't have enough time to do it. I mean, we have a social life. <laughs> you don't. You can see if you can turn into an A, or else, frosh. You got that? What do you think you're doing, kid? Leave your obsession behind. Turn back to the one true God that will give you more joy than your social life. Obsessions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you, you okay? I had it under control. Keep your gods to yourself. What? Whatever that little twerp did is really driving me mad. No one could get a hold of me, even my mom. What we ever do to deserve this? Hey, kid, let me use your cell phone. Uh, I try not to use it constantly anymore. What do you mean anymore? Don't tell me you've been listening to that Abby kid again. Talking about me? Yeah. I just want you to know that no matter what you try to pull, we're never Leave going to- Leave your obsessions behind! What is this? You're going off that God mojo again? Leave your obsessions behind. And what if we don't? What if we continue with our normal lives, huh? What are you going to do about the, it? The Lord says, if you continue to harden your hearts and remain too busy, He will yet again take away another false God in your life. And what might that be? I have seen the fear and misery of your peers, Annie. I have heard their nightly prayers crying out one request to see the busyness of their lives. So I have come to rescue them from their hectic lives to show them that there is only one true God and the oppressed. So go, I am sending you to give your peers strength and courage to turn away from their obsessions and back to me. Not me and my friends. You're gonna pay for what you've been doing, however you've been doing it. Megan, you know this is only gonna get worse if you don't abandon your busy life. You've seen what can happen. Just please face your one true God. This will all end, I promise. 
I will never give up my cell phone, my music, or my social status. Never. <clears throat> Suit yourself. But the Lord says, if you continue to refuse to let your obsessions go, then he'll take away what's most important to you, your friends. taken almost everything from us. What more could you possibly want? I just want to be happy again. I just want to find joy again. And so, the Lord made my fellow classmates limit the constant texting, TV watching, grade stressing outing, social status seeking, and all those other things in our lives that take away the time and true focus of who we were created for. I thank God over and over in my prayers for pointing out how to overcome the chaos we had created ourselves.